It's almost 20 years since the local council devised a scheme for Ealing's town centre, which the council loved and the locals loathed. Residents wanted more than the grey concrete anonymity of dual carriageways and shopping centres. They wanted a plan which put the heart back in Ealing, and as far as they're concerned, it's put back a little body and soul too. Under the auspices of the Ealing Study Group, the residents redesigned their own town. No new roads, but a blend of Edwardian and Victorian Ealing. The council agreed, and today the Broadway Centre received the ultimate approval. Oh, great! Nothing could be better! Oh, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. The £60 million development includes a glass atrium and an open town square beneath walkways and towers. The crowds were large and their welcome noisy and floral. Some bouquets were handed gently, others lobbed from the back of the crowd. Either way, the Queen didn't seem to mind. And then an unusual accolade as the monarch agreed to be Rag Queen for Ealing College. The students made the offer two months ago and today the Queen was happy to oblige, remarking that her son Edward was enjoying his Rag Week too. And while Ealing's real town planners watched from behind the barriers, the civic dignitaries did their best to present a united front. Last week, the ruling group banned the Labour opposition from taking tea with the Queen because they boycotted a royal garden party last year. Immediate uproar and unhappy headlines in the local press. Step forward, however, the council leader, appropriately named Mr Kettle, who finally allowed four Labour members in for the royal digestives. A fittingly English end to Ealing's big day. Lindsay Charlton in Ealing Broadway, The Thames News. Day, for that was the day Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II graced the borough with her presence. Absolutely nothing was left to chance. Every effort was made to ensure nothing unsavoury caught the royal eye. Well, not at least until after she'd left. How long is this structure designed to last, Alan? Well, it's just for today. Uh, we just put it up for show today. And it should put be it up coming today down. and yeah. tomorrow? Well, tomorrow it'll come down. It'll come down actually this afternoon. This is the red carpet. This is it. It's not, not very glamorous when you get close up, is it? No, it's only for walking on, really. <laughs> True. As the moment approached, the gallant ladies of the Ealing Civic Society were there to make sure everything was tickety-boo. But unfortunately, not all the hoi polloi were pulling their weight. Some shops have got very nice flower decorations in the windows. Another one, until yesterday, I think because we complained, had a ghastly acrid yellow sail thing in the window. And I really don't think much of the shops around the square here. Over in the kitchens, the catering ladies were fussing over a few last-minute details. Well, on the Majesty's tray, I'm going to have some little um, salmon and cucumber sandwiches. They've got to be very small, delicate, and I'm just having a little cakes of the non-sticky variety, so I'm doing just shortbread and little Viennese whirls for her. Ealing is nothing if not thorough, and I've managed to gain access to the very water closet that may well see royal service this afternoon. Coming in, ready or not. No ordinary fixture, as you can see. Pale pastel greens and creams. The lavatory seat being renewed. Even <laughs> as we speak. All right down there. Jolly good. Uh, walnut furnishings here. Floral decoration. The whole place refurbished. And everything here for Her Majesty's convenience. <laughs> Only why are you going to put in a new seat? Um, well, it's for the royal occasion, and it's uh, the only one to be used by the Queen. Nobody else has used it before. It's and a brand new... It's a brand new seat, and after the Queen is gone, it's going to be taken away. Taken out. It's a powerful moment for you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Back on the right. Please. To be honest, everybody in Ealing yesterday was secretly hoping the Queen would drop in on them. The well staff done, at yeah. the kosher butcher shop certainly had their fingers crossed. Jack, you've only got about half an hour, you know, and she's coming by. Well? Well, I mean, it's a bit, bit last minute, this sort of Well, thing. <laughs> you never know, she might come in, she might want a bit of kosher meat. <laughs> and at the Old Oak Cafe, they were all ready for a royal visit, too. As you can see, we've had a complete redeck. We've got these very, very expensive Irish linen tablecloths. Yes. We've got out the lovely Royal Dalton. Ding! <laughs> and the old silver spoon handy. And she's used to the old silver spoon, isn't she? Just a very gentle... For anyone who was lucky enough to meet HMQ, local MP Harry Greenway was on hand for some tips on etiquette. You put your hand out. I just offer mine. I don't grip your hand. I put mine in yours. I bow and I say, your majesty. If it's a lady greeting the queen... How do you they, go? They do the same with the hand like that and they do a curtsy. 
at last, the great moment arrived. Her Royal Highness, wearing an elegant rust-coloured overcoat and matching hat, mingled with the crowd. But after all that preparation, it was over in a flash. Sadly, she walked straight past the butchers. She didn't bother about the royal we. And she didn't even drop in for a cup of tea. Oh, well, maybe next time. Oh.